Hi everyone, I'm Simon and welcome to Cold Water Tanks. Another video from the Sea Spider tank this time. Uh, this footage is uh, actually from this winter, mainly from February, uh, so the temperature in the tank is uh, still quite cold. Uh, it's been fluctuating between 4 to 6 degrees Celsius most of the winter, uh, which is not too far from the natural temperatures this time of year. Uh, the activity level of the creatures in the tank is still quite low, probably because of the low temperatures. Except for the stalk jellyfish, which are basically gone now, uh, probably devoured by the nudibranch in the last video. Uh, all the other creatures seem to be doing okay with the, with the low temperatures though. Uh, I was able to find a few more hydroids for the spiders to snack on, but it's difficult to find during winter. I was made aware that uh, these usually die off during winter, so, so no wonder I guess. Uh, the sea spider with the eggs uh, still had the eggs on the 12th of February. It was looking quite a bit brownish by then. A few days later though the eggs were gone and I've seen no signs of any small spiders in there. I have no idea though what the offspring of these spiders would look like or act like. If they're like tiny spiders or, or if they look completely different. I don't know if it's pelagic at first or not either. Most likely though, I'm guessing the hatching never really happened, though it could have, uh, and the offspring have ended up in the pump or, or going into the substrate. But I've seen no signs, so, so I'm not expecting to see any little sea spiders in there, to be honest. Though the hydroids seem to be their first choice, luckily the spiders will also eat small anemones, as you can see here. Uh, and uh, anemones is not in short supply at any time of year, so, so that's good. A lot of the time when they're not busy feeding, grooming or moving around, they mostly just curl up like this, seemingly hibernating or something. I'm regularly wondering if the clingfish are still alive, uh, as I rarely see them anymore. And once in a while, one of them will come out from hiding though. I always try to feed them a bit when, when they do. Now they're probably feeding on the copepods on the glass. they will become more active when the temperature goes up. Now, the most active creatures, even during winter, uh, are the small shrimp. And many of them were originally added as food for the clingfish, but uh, I think they're too big for them to eat. Uh, I honestly don't know what species uh, some of these are, uh, as they do look different from each other. Uh, they're all entertaining little creatures though, and when zooming in you can see their little differences. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one is a chameleon prawn. Uh, these come in all kinds of colors. One thing that confuses me a bit though is that uh, from what I've read these uh, supposedly can change their color to match their environment, and I can't really say I've seen that happen in this tank. 
they don't seem to change color so so i don't know yeah the sea squirt is still doing good the only issue is that it's just stuck to a small piece of kelp and it's basically just floating around in there it doesn't seem to be a problem for it though so yeah i'm just i'm just letting it do its thing there's sometimes a small film of oil or something on the surface of the water and the nudibranch that uh, ate the stalk jellyfish is regularly just floating around on the surface like this i'm thinking it might be getting some sustenance from this now i see the little sea here roaming around from time to time Uh, the feather star is still seemingly doing okay. Uh, I do think it's got more white spots though on its uh, feathers than it did before. I'm not sure if that is normal or... It usually just stays in one spot but uh, it's really cool a few times I see it moving around. This cute little limpet is still helping to clean the glass of the tank. Just including a bit more footage of the sea spiders here at the end of the video. Anyways, that's all for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please click the like button to help out the channel. Uh, if you'd like to see more of this or any of my other tanks or uh, videos from the wild, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any kind of feedback, questions or suggestions, please leave a comment. Uh, I really appreciate hearing from you all. So until next time, thanks for watching.